Hi friends, Professor Joe here. I hope you all are doing great. Now I have over a decade of experience in trading, especially in the Forex markets. All these videos that I'm creating is out of my own experience from the markets. I've done a lot of mistakes and I've learned from it. And I have become a successful trader also. In this video, we will be starting how to understand candlesticks patterns. So let us see how to understand a candlestick pattern and then we will go to understanding individual candlestick patterns. Now candlesticks plays a very very important role in trading. Candlesticks have been used by Japanese rice merchants since the 17th century. Now the credit for creating candlestick patterns is given to Munehisa Homa. He was a rice merchant. He used to monitor the prices of rice in Dojima Rice Exchange in Osaka, which is in Japan. In 1936, Sheki Shinzu wrote the first book on candlestick patterns, which is called as Candlestick Charting Techniques. Although it did not get very popular, but that was the first recorded book for candlestick patterns. It was only in the late 1980s and early 1990s that Steve Neeson from the Western world happened to understand candlestick patterns in more detail. He went to Japan and he understood the candlestick patterns in detail. And then he wrote a book called as Japanese Candlestick Charting Techniques. And this was the point where candlestick patterns got popular in the western world also. Currently, traders use candlesticks on a daily basis to understand what's happening in the markets. Now, candlestick is basically a graphical representation of the price movement for a particular time period. Initially, it started with daily candlestick pattern. But now with new technology, we can get one minute, five minutes, up to one year candlesticks. In fact, we can also get even lower time frames than one minute also. So you have to be careful which time frame you are looking at while trading or investing. Um, candlesticks are basically created out of four data points, opening, high, low and close. So they combine all these four data points and depending upon the price movement, you get a different pattern of candlestick every single day. Sometimes it can be same for two days also, but mostly it is different. Now, more than remembering the names of a candlestick pattern, what is more important to understand is the price activity that happened to create this particular kind of candlestick pattern. If you understand that, then the name of the candlestick does not matter. Once you have a look at the candlestick, you will come to know exactly what happened during the day. Now, for example, if you look at this candlestick, this is normally called as a hammer. But what is the feeling that come to your mind? The feeling is, yes, the price opened at one particular price. Then the bears pushed the market down. They pushed it really down and then the bulls they thought that at this particular price, it's a good time to enter. So they started buying and the price started going back up. And it went up so much that it also crossed the opening price of the day. And then towards the end of the day, the price remained on top. So when you look at this candle, you have to understand that, yes, initially the bears were more dominant in the market. They pushed the price down. But later on, the bulls felt that now this is a good price to enter. They started buying and the price started going up. And the day or that particular time frame closed in a positive psychology for the people. This is what you have to understand. Rather than understanding the name of this candlestick, your job is to understand what happened to the price movement and what was the psychology of the traders or the investors for this particular time frame. 
Once you understand that, you will become the king of candlestick patterns. Now, every single candlestick has a meaning. As I said, if you understand the price movement, there is a different meaning for each single candlestick. Like for example, every single emoji has a different meaning. Like you can see on the screen. The first one is a smiling emoji. The second one is a sad emoji. The third one is an angry emoji. And the fourth one is a naughty emoji. That means every single emoji has a feeling that it is sharing. Same way, every single candlestick has a psychology of the traders for that particular time frame in the market. So your job is not to remember the names of the candlestick, but to understand the psychology of the traders for that particular time frame. Your job is to crack that understanding of the price movement. Another important thing about candlestick pattern is don't look at it in isolation. That all the candles are coming down, 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 down and then you saw an engulfing candle or a big positive bullish candle. That really does not mean that the price might reverse from there. There are multiple other things that you need to see. So when you are trading the trend, you have to look for bullish candlestick pattern. And same way, if you're looking for reversals, you have to look at reversals at good support and resistance zone. Then only the candlestick will make sense. Of course, in the coming videos, we will explain every single step. But these are some basic things which I wanted to explain before I get into those videos. Now, trends can be identified by using moving averages or by looking at the chart patterns, like you look for higher highs and higher lows. If there is at least two higher highs and two higher lows, you know that the price is moving upwards. Or if you see a good positive moving average, which is turning upwards, then you know that the trend is bullish. In that, when you look for a bullish candlestick pattern, that will make sense. At the same time, using oscillators, like if you're looking for a buy position, you should look for oscillator, which is in an oversold position. So that means the price has more force to go upwards. So these are some combinations you have to use with a candlestick pattern. Do not use candlestick pattern in isolation. In coming videos, we will explain one by one candlestick patterns, not all of them, but the most important ones. And where to look for these candlestick pattern is equally important. So we will discuss those points also. So keep looking forward for my coming up videos on candlestick patterns. So let us look at the summary what we have tried to understand in this video. In this video, we have tried to understand the history, how candlestick patterns came into existence. Second, how candlestick pattern got known to the Western world. Next, we try to understand what are the data that is used to create a candlestick. Next, we try to understand that do not try to remember the candlestick names. If you can remember, great. But try to understand the psychology of price movement. Next, we try to understand the psychology of the traders. How they reacted towards the price movements. Whether the bears were dominant or whether the bulls were more dominant. And last, we try to understand that candlestick should not be used in isolation. It should be used in a confluence, either a trend or a support and resistance, along with some other indicators like oscillators. So if you combine these things, your study about candlestick pattern will help you to create great profits from the stock markets or from the forex markets. Now, friends, I have also written a book. Traders, you can win. First, first, learn to lose. This book is available on Amazon and Kindle. I have explained about candlestick patterns in detail in this book. So if you're interested to learn more, you can surely buy this book. Now, if you like the content that I'm creating and the series of videos that I'm creating, please like and share these videos so that people who want the knowledge they will get the knowledge and they can be successful in the forex markets, in the stock markets. And for more such updates on technical analysis, fundamental analysis, finance management, please subscribe to my channel. 
so that every time I create a video, you will be the first person to get updated. All I can say is keep learning, keep growing. Thank you. Namaskar.